Welcome back, guys, to my Road to Glory career mode. We are in the third episode of Season 2, and we are ending the transfer window in this episode. Uh, this is uh, my my squad numbers that I've just been fiddling about with. Seeing as I have pretty much all my players sorted, I've just got like one or two more signings to make, and this should be good. So, uh, yeah, I don't think I really need to do much about these. Maybe I'll bring uh, Lisa down a little bit, maybe, say, number 20. I don't know. Why not, I suppose? And, um... Yeah, there's not really much to do with, with kit numbers. Uh, injury list. We actually have no players injured for once, which is amazing. Obviously, we're only three matches in, but even even so, it's uh, pretty good that we have uh, you know no injured players so far. Uh, squad report. There's not much to say, is there? Um, no improvement. Oh, there's an improvement for Bailey. That's great. Well done to him. I didn't expect that. Um, Jen De Dale Jennings has gone up. That's good. Uh, we've got Mings going up as well. Good stuff. No, no, no one's decreasing. That's what's good. Uh, well, I mean, let's ignore that. Um, yeah, it looks like even the players who have sent out loan are already improving. That's that's good stuff. Good stuff indeed. So, um, yeah, no point dwelling on that, though. Our first match of this episode is against Huddersfield. It's away. It's Turnbull's new club. But, yeah, basically, uh, our first match, we beat... Uh, who do we beat? Who do we beat? I can't remember. It was Reading. We beat Reading in our first match of the season. 1-0. Uh, a very tight match, we got the victory. Leicester City have been dominating, they destroyed um, Port Vale, I think it was 5-0, which is crazy. And now we're playing Huddersfield, who are actually sitting in the bottom two, sitting 23rd. So we could possibly sneak a win here. Because, I mean, obviously we're not the strongest side, but we can get something but going by the run of form at the moment. Uh, but yeah, we're going to go and do this now. Hopefully uh, we'll come out with a win. But um, well, regardless of that, it should be a good match. Shorts. Oh fuck. First chance of the match here, possibly. Wells has gone through. Oh shit, this isn't got Oh wow, he just went wide. Crap. Oh for God's sake, this isn't good. I am getting it's too hard at the moment. They're, they're very good at winning taking the ball off us and just a bit crap in possession lately. Don't know what it is. Oh my god, what the how the hell did that go in? That was tame as fuck. God damn it, that's a shit goal to concede. We're already 1-0 down and it's just 13 minutes in. Shocking start to this match. Let's turn this shit around. God's sake. That was crap. There we go. Jennings now. Come on. What the hell? Is that a penalty? It is! We won a penalty there! We, Jennings got tugged down. I didn't manage to get... He didn't get any contact with the ball, that's for sure. We could have just earned ourselves a lifeline. That's that's for, oh, it's just inside the box as well. We're quite lucky there. And then uh, yeah, that giant takes him out in the end. We could be back on level terms from such a like a a soft, stupid mistake from that whole Huddersfield defender. I did not expect that to happen, and we could be back in front. Let's see if we can get anything from this. There we go. Yes, get in, Mason with the goal. One all. We're back on level terms. Just ten minutes after their goal. That's lucky. Honestly, we got lucky there, but I'm not going to complain. I'll take that all day. And we're back on level terms. Fantastic stuff. Cole putting pressure. Oh, Cole's put pressure on. He's done well. He's done very well. Come on, Cole. Oh, oh, could be going in. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Can we get anything from this throw? No one's coming near me, so Bailey's going to take it. Hewitt. Hewitt. Oh, ho, ho, what a goal! Hewitt on his debut! What a strike! It's the first, it's the best goal of the season so far. Without a doubt, what a goal from Hewitt. Amazing start to his career. That was Hewitt, right? I think so. Oh, what a goal. Amazing stuff from him. The keeper, no chance. Just no chance. What a swerve on that strike. Yeah, maybe he was, yeah, Hewitt. What a fucking goal. Look at the curve on that. Holy shit, I did not expect that to go in. But I'm going to take that. Fantastic stuff. That was amazing. We're, we're in the lead now. Oh, I think we've injured the guy as well. Oh, my God. Everything's going wrong for Huddersfield now. The guy that scored has just gone off injured straight after kickoff. <laughs> oh, God. That's horrible as well. Wow, it's all going wrong for Huddersfield now. Oh, crap, Ward. They're still working well together, even though they are behind and have just lost their, their probably main striker, I'd assume. They're still passing it around, though. God, legendary isn't easy, let me tell you. Oh, my God, what happened to, the, to Hewitt there? Oh, not so good, not so good here. Fuck, 
fuck. Oh, that's a shit goal. Again, we've conceded such a shit goal. God damn it. What was I doing there? I don't know what I was doing, to be honest. It was a bit stupid. It was my fault that I take the blame. But I'm falling apart defensively. That's really not good enough. Hewitt. Rip it in for someone. Jennings. It's a goal. Oh, it's offside. Damn it. Never mind. I kind of expect it to be offside, but it was a great ball from Hewitt. I tell you what, he's having a fantastic match. But, uh, yeah, he's, he's very much off. I don't know what Cole and Jennings are doing there. They're miles off. Ah, oh, fuck. They're keeping the ball well now, and they're still going. Can we get it clear, though? We have. And Mason. Fucking give that to, to Cole. Cole, give it back. Yes, we got it back. Okay. And Mason's still on it. Have a go. Have a go. Uh, it's wise. I didn't expect that to go in, to be honest. But, hey, I didn't expect Hewitt's goal to go in, and it did. Oh, well. Well, there's the end of the first half. What a first half that was. Crazy. Absolutely insane. My defense had an absolute howler. Uh, Turnbull's had a bit of a howler. Uh, and he's not playing for us, remember. He's playing for Huddersfield. It's been very weird, this half. Been very weird indeed. But, um, yeah. Let's let's try and keep this uh, crazy half, uh, second half. Uh, we, we will want to be getting a win in the second half. So, uh, let's try and get a few goals. Careful, Tracy. Careful. Oh, Hewitt with the skill there. Hewitt. Oh, <laughs> damn it. Unlucky. Ah, uh, fuck. They're keeping the ball here. I don't know how, but they are. Oh, God, that's a ball. That's a hell of a ball. We've got it away. Hurahan, what are you doing? What is going on there? Jennings. Come on, Jennings. Run. Run, lad. Come on. Just get that's down the bad. field. Can we whip one in? We can. Tracy's onto it, but no one's there to receive the, the ball. Bailey. And that's going to go out. No, it's not even gone out. The keeper, the keeper's picked it up nicely. Okay, we've got Cole to Flores. Flores and Cole were brilliant. And, oh, what the hell? This is my problem. Jennings, have a go. Come on. That's got to be it. That's the full-time whistle. It's a 2-2 draw. Second half was quite shit. Uh, the first half was crazy, but the second half, just there was no quality whatsoever. There's so much hesitation. I guess it's kind of my fault there. But yeah, it was really, really poor second half. But a 2-2 draw, it's not the worst result, especially for a side that's not going to be looking at, you know, a really high position in the table. Uh, I'm okay with that, and Elliot Hewitt had a great debut. What a goal from him. Amazing goal from him. Okay, so Andras Kerm has asked for uh, 5,000 uh, per week. That's his counter-offer. Uh, I can't afford that, as you can see. So, um, obviously, I, I, I guess I'll bring it to 4,000. Unless that was what I offered initially, I can't remember. Um, I don't know, because I, I found out that he's 66 rated, obviously, and he's 30 years old. He's not getting any better. Um, hmm, I'm curious now. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, can I look at his stats or anything? No. Uh, I will put it to 4,000. I'm not, I don't want to, you know, have a, a a big, a big deal for this guy because it seems like he, he might not be that, that big a signing. Yeah, the guy wants 5k and I don't think he's going to accept anything less, so I'm going to just sound to piss off. I'm going to go and try and get the, lo try and loan out that, um, that uh, Juventus winger again. I'm going to try and do that again. I'm going to bring the wage budget over to 10k. Well, I'm going to bring it all the way, actually. We'll bring it. Uh, let's do. Let's do that. 15k. Right, Coleman. Gonna bring him on loan. Full season. Uh, no future fee set. We're just gonna try and bring the guy on loan. Hopefully it'll work out, and we'll have another winger to add to the side. Right. So right before our next match, which is is in the European, uh, the Europa League. Um, they've accepted and we can bring him to the side for the season. That's great news. We can play him in the big match against um, this team. I can't remember the name. Cuban Krasnodar. There it is. Uh, hopefully, we can actually get a good result. Hopefully, we can go through to the, um, the group stage. That is our target this season. Uh, let's try and do that. I'm going to bring Komen into the side straight away for this match. 68 rated. That's great stuff. Um... I'm going to play Flores again, because he was good, and uh, Mason wasn't too impressive in the last match. Um, and yeah, I think I'm going to stick with that side. In fact, I'll, pl I'll take Bailey off and uh, put Horahan on, just because of fitness levels. And that should be good. Let's do it. 
Here we go, guys. This is the all-important match. Barnsley versus Cuban Krasnodar. The score at the moment is 3-2 Cuban Krasnodar. We have two away goals. If we win by one goal to nil, then we are through on away goals. So uh, we're going to try and do that, but um, keeping a clean sheet against this team is obviously hard. We conceded three against them away. It's not likely we'll be able to, con con uh, to be able to uh, complete a clean sheet in the 90 minutes we have. But it is worth a try. Let's do this. There we go. Flores keeps the ball for us somehow. Makes the pass to Cole. Okay, can we get that? Yes, we can. Cole is onside. Surely he's onside. It's a goal! What a fantastic work goal there. Two amazing goals in this episode. One from Hewitt, one from Cole. Cole has scored all of our goals in the Europa League so far. It's a fantastically well-worked goal here. A great strike from Cole. I think that's one of the goals of the season. Uh, I think I think if I do make a, a video at the end of the season for goal of the season, that's probably going to be a contender alongside Hewitt's earlier in this episode. This is going to be an incredible episode if you score more of these great goals. We are already achieving our target. We're 1-0 up. Let's try and keep that lead. I'm going to go defensive now. <laughs> Ah, Villa does well there. Oh, uh, that wasn't good, but hey, it got away. Just. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Oh, my God. How? How in the hell did that happen? We are so lucky there. Holy shit. Hewitt going everywhere. Holy shit. Bit worrying. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. What? Oh, for fuck's sake. That's bullshit. What kind of goal is that? Just... Oh, that's crap. That is utter crap. Look at that. What? What is going on there? Oh, uh, for fuck's sake. We're back on level terms. We've got to score again. This is such shit. Coleman now. Coleman, whip it in. Whip it in for Cole. Cole. Oh, how has that not gone in? What the hell's going on? Oh, wow. We didn't score. How the hell did we not score that? Flores. Flores. Oh, how? How? Oh, my God. Ah, fuck. Here we go. Oh, well done, Craney. Well done. That's a great clearance as well. Really good. Not just like a, a random clearance. I was actually finding someone as well. Really good. We could have a chance here now from that. It's not likely, though, is it? Fucking hell. They're all back still. Oh, oh, come on. What the hell? It's half time. It's 1 1. We should be winning, but we're not because of a shitty goal they scored. And look, it wasn't even on its fucking target. Bullshit. Okay. Come on. Oh, oh, yes, yes. Flores with the goal. That was lucky as hell. I don't give a shit. We're 2 1 up now. Fantastic. We're back in the lead. We're, we've got the advantage again. We will go through with this result. We've got to keep this score line. We've got to keep it. Right, you know what? Now I'm actually going to make some subs. I'm going to change the formation altogether. We're going to go defensive as all kinds of hell. Uh, how do we do this now? How, how can we... 4-5-1? Um, that kind of... Four, that's what we want, yeah. Right, so we're going to have Cole up front. Uh, we've got Tracy on the wing. Can Aris Mendy play as a CDM? Yes, he can. That's good. Okay. We'll bring Flores off. And we'll put... Um, yeah, we'll put on Bailey. And then... Uh, I think we'll play Mavoto on top of instead of Nitanga, just so we have some strength because Nitanga has not really been strong enough in this match. Oh shit! No! 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 Oh, for fuck's sake! Now it's either extra time or we're out. Oh, for fuck's sake! That's shit. Right. Well, there it is, guys. Fucking fantastic. We're out. Because of a shitty fucking goal. Two shitty fucking goals. And we're out. So, just uh, two nights after uh, our disappointing defeat. Uh, or getting knocked out by uh, Cuban Krasnodar in the EuroLeague. We're taking on Bolton at home in the championship. It's not going to be easy. They're a great side. And most of my players are shattered. So, uh... Yeah, not looking forward to this, but we're going to have to give it all we got because I don't want to be dropping points early on in the season. Just can't afford to. Come on, get to that. Yes, well done, Mason. Well done, indeed. Lisa now. Back to Mason. Jennings, come on. Why not? Oh, Lita. Lita. Come on, Lita. Yes! 1-0. What a start. What a start. 
and we're, we're in the lead against Bolton. That is a great start for us. Lita with his first goal of the season. Very well played from Jennings and Lita getting around there. And it's pretty much in the center of the goal. He could really, I don't know, not enough reaction time perhaps. I don't know, but it's, it's not a very good attempt to save it. And we're 1-0 up already, five minutes in against Bolton. That's a great start. Nothing could have beaten that. Come on. Oh, fuck. Oh, for f <laughs> uh. Okay, here I go right now. I'm going to make a bet. This match is going to end 2-2. The last match ended 2-2. The match before it ended 2-2. This one's going to end 2-2. I can almost fucking guarantee it. Oh, good. Here we go. Oh, nice. Nicely done. Oh, f oh wow. Digby. Digby, you bloody hero. Oh, my God. Lita finds Arismendi. Arismendi. Lita. Oh, how have you hit the posts? Oh, wow. Oh, fucking hell. Get it cleared. Oh, my God. What the fuck? is that are you fucking kidding me what the, that is that is the most bullshit goal i have ever conceded in my fucking life i don't give a fucking shit that is bullshit what kind of goal is that what the hell what? I just want to get a fucking goal. This is an absolutely shite way to go down if we do lose. What a bullshit goal we conceded. Just utter crap. Can't live with that. Come on, Lita. Yes! Back on level terms. That is what we deserve. That was a good goal. What they scored was a pile of shit. We deserve so much better than what we've got this episode. So much better. A fucking bullshit goal we conceded. Now we're back on level terms. It's 2 2, would you guess? Holy fucking shit, that's not happened before. Let's get a fucking third, for God's sake. Well, any other day of the week, I'd take a 2-2 draw against Bolton. But that fucking goal that they scored, I cannot get over. I fucking cannot get over it. We should have definitely won that match without a doubt, no, no shadow of a doubt in my mind. We should have won that match. That goal from Tavrede or whatever his fucking name, whatever his name is. Should not. It's just absolute bollocks. Right, so here goes the transfer deadline day window. Uh, not a lot's happened other than Benteke moving to Roma. And uh, Sirigu going to Juventus. I mean, Moreno going from... Uh, is that Espanyol? Is that... Is it? I can't remember. I, I, I don't really know, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, they've gone to... Uh, he's gone to Everton. And uh, really nothing else happened, we're not getting any offers, and um, I, I can't complain, I, I don't want people to sign any of my players. But um, I think we're good to be honest, I'll, I'll have a look at my squad, uh, see if there's anything needing improvement, or like a loan sign-in, if we could do with one. Um, I don't know, I think centre-back wise I think we're okay. Maybe could do with some, no I think we're okay centre-back wise. Uh, on the right, mid right back we're fine. Hewitt's been brilliant for me. Um, Villa, yeah, I, I'm not too keen on him as of late, but Mings has been okay. Uh, Flores has been good. Uh, we've got Berry who can play on the wing or in midfield. We've got Horahan as well as Bailey and Arismendi. Um, we've got Coman and oh, uh, Digby, sorry as well. I forgot about Digby. I shouldn't forget about him. He's been great for me. We've got Coman, we've got Cole, we've got Jennings and Tracy and Berry. And then of course we've got Cole, Lita and Hemmings. Uh, as strikers if we need and of course Spiegel and uh, Davis can will do a fine job in my, as my goalkeepers so I think honestly I'm okay I don't really need to, I don't need to sign anyone um, I don't really need to sell anyone either can't really afford to sell anyone but if I get a pretty nice offer which I won't do at this point uh, you know I might have to consider it but anyway looks like this is gonna be over any second now Paul Pogba has just signed for Liverpool Holy shit, that's, uh, that's a big deal. That's a holy fucking hell big deal. Well, that is the end of the episode, guys. Next episode, we will be taking on Newcastle in the Capital One Cup. 2nd of September, we move on to play... Oh shit, we've got a youth league squad. Oh my god, can we just pick him up already? He looks so good. He looks so good. I just, I need him. He's slow as fuck, but like, look how good that looks. Oh my god. Fernie Bongonda, 
has a potential of 87 to 93, and his overall already will be 70 to 74. That's amazing. We need the guy. Just give him to us. And £100 million was spent on de deadline day, which is just insane. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. There were a lot of 2-2 draws. In fact, that was all that happened in the entire episode. There were a couple of brilliant goals. One extremely shitty goal that I just I still can't get over. Uh, but, you know, what can you do? Sometimes shit like that happens. Hopefully, next episode, we'll stop having 2-2 draws. Let's, let's see if we can get a victory in these, uh, at least a couple of victories in these. I wouldn't expect to beat Newcastle. I definitely don't expect to beat Leicester at the rate, rate they're going. But I think we can beat Le Leeds United. I definitely think we can have a shout against them. But uh, really, it doesn't look good for us in the coming month. We have Leeds I think we can beat. I think we can beat, we can definitely beat Port Vale. And then that's really it. I don't think we, ha we're, we're definitely not the favourites for any other matches there. Uh, but yeah, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a massive thumbs up. Subscribe for more if you haven't already. And I will see you all in the next one.